and no power series X. I think it's no power anyway. It is stone dead. It is stone dead. Cool. All right. Completely dead. Let's have a look at it. See if we see if we can fix it. Shall we? It's been opened before. Still trying to take care not to damage the sticker, but it has been opened before now. Someone's put some uh, custom mesh over the vents. I don't recommend that, but each to their own, eh? I got my hot air set at like 130 degrees Celsius by the way, at 40% airflow. So it's not going to melt anything by doing that. Should have probably done that one at the same time. Hmm. The adhesives ended up staying on there. Doesn't matter. I'll warm it all up when I uh, take it apart anyway. Uh, when I put it back together, sorry, and uh, re stick that down. It's not an issue. It is not an issue. Oof, well. I guess those vents didn't stop that, did they? It's glove time. It's glove time for this one. Your vent mod didn't work, mate. Green ones indeed. It's an Xbox after all. All right. Ah, oh, lovely. We've got dead bugs in this. Free protein, 80. 500 gifted subs and I will. <laughs> Sucker. Filter on the vent was for the roaches, not the dust. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Sorry. There's another one there, look. Right. I'll worry about the console, about the cleaning later. I've got a feeling this could be exactly what was said in chat bugs zapping the power supply it's very possible what i don't understand with this is this has been open before why hasn't it been cleaned out yeah you get a lot of roach damage in the us but not in the uk we should we shouldn't be getting that kind of shit here look to get that kind of stuff here you've got a bit of a problem And that's not me trying to make fun of anyone. Like you, you get that stuff here in the UK, you've got a bit of an issue. I'm going to be honest. Like We don't get roaches in the UK. That's probably the third or fourth time in the, in the history of my channel that we've come across it. Someone's probably, I'll be honest, someone's probably opened this up, took one look at the fact that there was bugs in there and said, nope, and just put it all back together. Like, just took the top off it, well, the back off it, saw there was bugs in there, said no, and just 
that's it. Wow. More. More. They're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. Someone's got a serious infestation. Right, question numero uno. Are we getting power to the power supply? I will charge extra. No, it's not really that big of a deal. Like, just hoover them up. Just, it's not that much of an issue. Not really. Uh, right, voltage mode, high speed. From my nan's sister's house. Don't vacuum cleaners create a static field. A slight static field, field, yeah, but static is a non-issue these days in modern electronics. Right. No, that power supply is stone dead. That power supply is stone dead. Dead, dead. All right. No power getting to that PSU at all. Right, well, this one might be an easy one, so let's just clean out the rest of the console and then... In fact, well, let's... Um, let's test to make sure we've got no 12-volt shorts first. But I also want to clean out the rest of the console and make sure we've got no more bugs lying around on this. Probably use a bug what's killed the power supply, to be honest. Alright, so continuity mode. I'm going to check this one first. No short. And this one. No short. Yeah, it's very likely just the power supply that's gone in this. Yeah, let's open up the power supply and have a look what's going on. Probably not going to fix it, but it's... Uh, I've got to admit, it's quite kind of intriguing as to what's actually happened to it, because those power supplies don't die very often. Um, in terms of that, I will replace the thermal paste, but at the minute it's a non-issue. That's all we get it working. Manufacturer, how tight do you want your Xbox? Microsoft. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you a warning now, don't mess with power supplies, they're freaking dangerous, alright. They are dangerous. Because they're so dangerous. Chances are, if you open up a power supply, you're going to get yourself a nice little shock. Where the freaking hell do you get this off here? The base of this is protected, so I'm okay to probe. Oh, they're tight inside there. This might take a little bit to desole that. So you know you think about Xbox uh, power supplies is they have these shields on them. Like these. Well, it's like a heat sink more than anything, but it's just annoying to actually get them off.
There's one. This could just be the f the uh, input fuse which is blown on this. To be honest, you know, if uh, if a cockroach has gone inside it and blown, uh, well, and hit the main input fuse, you know, the uh, two hundred forty volt fuse, then it would take the fuse out. Oh, damn it. Right, now I've got to try and get the freaking heat sink off. There we go. Stupid thing. Ugh. Man, that's annoying. Right. Anyway. Where... Where is the main fuse? Damn, that's a... Big ass heatsink soldered to that. Yeah, good luck getting that heatsink off. <laughs> good luck getting that heatsink off. They have made these so difficult to repair. Right, anyway. Before, before I go messing, where's those caps? Damn it, they've, they've covered everything. I can't get to it without removing any of that. Good luck getting to the components in this. Like you can't do anything with them. Not really. It probably is a fuse, but I can't get to them. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Can't get to the fuses. Can't get to the MOSFETs. Can't get to the caps. Everything's caked in this stupid stuff. And I've just basically got to destroy the damn thing to be able to get to it. So, yeah. Replace the power supply. That's it. But, hey. I've been waiting for this opportunity. Because now I can make a bench power supply cable for one. With these cables. Ha. <laughs> Sweet. Right. Here's one I made earlier. Here is one I made earlier. Yeah, so because I can actually destroy that power supply, you know, if this obviously fixes it, then um, I can salvage some parts of it, like the transformer and stuff, and... And get some money back for it that way because you can't buy those transformers. I can I can never find them anywhere. There we go. Yep, power supply full tape. All right. Well, that's fine. There you go. She's working. Good stuff. I don't know where my uh, Xbox disc has gone. If I'm being honest. So I'll just try a DVD for now and make sure it reads that. And then tomorrow, when I give it a full test, I'll test and make sure it plays a game. Just going to make sure it actually reads a, di a disc. And this died at 6.23am. No, I will not connect it to the Xbox network. It does read the DVD, though. Make sure that everything's working as it should be. Alright, it wants an update, so... I'm going to let it update, because that will tell me if the disk drive is actually uh, working as it should as well, if I download an update. I will connect an Ethernet up just to speed that up though, and that will also tell me whether the Ethernet's working. So that should start to pick up in a second. So it's on 8% now, 9, 10, 11, 12.
it looks like it's picking up. Uh, maybe not. Uh, this could have an Ethernet issue. Yeah, it's got an Ethernet issue. It's not picking up an Ethernet. Uh, that could be a problem. But it's something I'll have to contact the customer about because that's a completely separate fault. So I'll have to speak to the customer about that tomorrow. Yeah, so that's not picking up Ethernet unless it's disabled somehow. Uh, well, that's a bit poop. I'm going to have to speak to the customer about that. So that's one test failed. Uh, it's working in 4K, good. Well, it looks like I can't test anything else if uh, if you need a passcode. No. Right, okay, well. That's about as far as I can go. I can't... Uh, can't really test much more without the password. Bugs up the Ethernet as well. It's possible, yeah. I think it's, that's going to be extra. If I've got to try and figure that out. Because it could need a south bridge, if that's the case. But the problem is... The cost. <laughs> that's the issue. Um, so, I've already quoted the customer for a repair. But if I had to replace the south bridge as well, that's going to be a lot more... Like you're talking like almost double the price because the safe bridge is a big job. So it all depends on whether they actually use Ethernet and whether they want it doing. I've got it. I can't like if it was something simple like a HDMI port. I just like yeah, whatever. But the fact that this safe bridge chip alone costs forty quid to buy. The main issue is fixed. Power supply done. All because of a few bugs. Never mind. Right. Yeah. So I'll speak to the customer tomorrow. I'll see what they say about the. Uh, about the Ethernet, you know, they might not even use Ethernet, they might just say, no, forget it, I don't use it, but it's one of them things, I suppose.